everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hola a todos y bienvenidos a mi canal de YouTube. Today's video, it'll be a little different because my video will be in Spanglish. So it's Spanish and English mixed together. And um, because a lot of my friends and some of my subscribers, some of them, they've asked me to speak Spanish and like a genie in a bottle. Your request, your wish is my command. Mis queridos amigos y suscriptores, como me habéis pedido hacer mi video en castellano, entonces hacemos mitad mitad. Hace, ha, haremos en Spanglish, ¿vale? Es como español e inglés. Entonces, así que, que también podéis disfrutar mi video, mi video, mi video. Video, video. <laughs> Así que empezamos. Today I'm gonna show you the unboxing of the makeups that I bought from Revolution, recently bought from, from Revolution. And I want to give you my honest opinion. I want to give you, I want to try it on my own face so that you'll see if it's worth it to buy or not. Hoy les voy a enseñar el unboxing o qué tal. Eh, de la caja eh, los maquillajes que he comprado de la marca Revolution la marca Revolution son maquillajes que con se consideran como eh, marca low cost digamos que son, mar que son maquillajes que es mucho más barato que lo que compara con, con, con las marcas que, que son más famosas ¿no? con las marcas digamos, más buenas, que tienen fama, o sea, por ejemplo, um, Arglas, Becca, Makeup Forever, Urban Decay, so. so Revolution brand, they consider it as a low-cost makeup because they are cheaper than the so other brands. So before I start the, the unboxing, antes que empezamos el unboxing de mi maquillaje, if this is your first time to see my channel, then my channel is all about beauty, makeup, reviews of different products, and I mean about women in general. So, so don't forget to subscribe on my channel so that you'll receive notifications when I upload new videos and also give me a thumbs up if you like these videos and Leave your comments below what you think about this product or what you think about this video. Si es la primera vez que estás en mi canal, suscríbete así que recibirás notificaciones de mis nuevos video, videos y también darme un like sobre este video. Así que nada, ya empezamos. So let's start the unboxing. So, I'm going to show you the product that I bought. This es las, o sea, los maquillajes que he comprado. Revolution Pro 4K Highlighter Palette and the Revolution Pro 4K Bronzer Palette. And the Fast Base Concealer, which is in, in, in shade of C14. I bought that. Packaging is good. You have like, at the back of, the, of this box, the glass de este maquillaje, de esta caja, de esta caja, Está los colores que supongo que lo que puedes ver dentro de la caja. So it's, I, I suppose that's the color that you will see inside the box of this makeup. And this concealer has a, a little, it, it's like a sponge on the top of the, of, on the top of it. And we're gonna check it and we're gonna see how this works. Este corrector lleva como una esponja. Esponja. <laughs> Lleva como una cosa, una esponja redonda eh, aquí encima de donde es como el, o sea, el aplicador, es como aplicador de, del corrector. O sea, supongo que tienes que girar 
¿no? You're gonna have to twist it to use. Y vas poniendo. Then you apply your makeup. So, I think that's it. There's no mystery about this. No hay ningún misterio de este corrector, ¿no? Supongo, de momento. And then, these two palettes that I have here. I love the packaging. It's kind of well presented. And we're gonna open now the boxes. I mean the makeup and let's see what's inside. I'm so excited. <laughs> I want to open it. When the time I bought this, I want to open it. But the thing is that I've waited for this moment to do it. Okay? Ya quería abrir desde antes cuando he comprado ese, este maquillaje, esta, estas paletas. Quería ya abrir, pero claro, he dicho, esperamos que llegue el momento. Tenemos que abrir. Y ha llegado el momento. Estoy muy... I'm very excited. I'm very excited and uh, the moment has come and we have to open it. So I'm gonna open first the Revolution Pro 4K Highlighter Palette and just to show you it's sealed. Okay. So the brand Revolution, um, it's from UK. It's from um, London, UK. Okay. La marca Revolu Revolution is de Londres, is de Reino Unido. So, since it's a highlighter, as you can see, there's a lot of shiny, shimmering, splendid things there. <laughs> so, I suppose because it's a highlighter. So, majority of highlighter, they, they have like this glitter stuff, you know. Um, este es el maquillaje. Este es el, la paleta de iluminador. Esta es la caja y no está mal. Por el tamaño, no está mal. So, not bad at all. First impression, not bad at all. Next, el siguiente es el Revolution Pro 4K Bronzer. Este es el siguiente que vamos a abrir. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Revolution Pro 4K Highlighter Palette in the shade of gold. Okay. Um, el color es, es oro. Yeah. Color, gold. So. And then the Revolution Pro. We're next is the Revolution Pro 4K Bronzer Palette. So this Revolution Pro 4K Bronzer Palette, it's in the shade of cool. Cool. Why? No? In Spanish? Cool. Why? There you go. And... Ooh, lleva un, una cosa encima. Oh, the plastic. Oh, it's sealed. It's with a protected, I mean, I think it's a protection on the top. There's a plastic on the top of it. I think it's protection, no? Then we have to remove it. So, I removed the plastic. There you go. So this is the 4K bronzer palette. This is the palette of bronzer, bronzeador. Primera vez que voy a usar esta paleta. Y, I think it's not that bad. I think it's... It's okay, you have like four different shades, like you have this, it's like terracotta, it's kind of mixed a little bit, and so you have this color, and you have the darker one, which is I'm more interested with, because I want to use it as a contour powder, but I think you can use it also as a, to give, to sharpen some, some, some area of your face, so, yeah, no está mal. Aquí me interesa usar es esta parte porque yo quiero usar para, para hacer el contorno de mi, de mi cara. Entonces yo usaré esta parte luego. ¿vale? Y vamos a la siguiente. Next is the Fast Base Concealer, which is in the shade of C14. I think this is the darkest. I've searched it and this is the darkest color that they have. So, so we're going to open it. It's easier <laughs> than the palette because the palette is kind of difficult to open. But okay. So you have this. Open it. Ta -da! So you have this like, oh, it's soft. It's cute. It's so soft. Love it. <laughs> um, and I think um, you just have to twist it so that the the product will come out. And um, that's it. I mean, no está mal este corrector. Tiene una cosa que encima es como una esponjita. Es muy suave, me encanta. <risa> y también supongo que para usar tiene que girar continuamente para que salga el producto. So we're gonna move on with the most important part of my review, which is to try the makeup revolution. Okay, so let's try to let's start to try it, and I'm gonna 
apply first the fast base concealer. Okay, voy a aplicar primero esto porque quería hacer el contorno. Tienes que shade that I want and yes first so far so good because I want to shade the moment está bien porque quería este color para hacer mi contorno and a little bit on my temples what do you think so the applicator it's not that bad I like this sponge thing here because you can control more the area that you want to apply the product. Esta esponjita no está mal, que me gusta porque puedes controlar más eh, las áreas donde quieres poner el producto. Then now, I'm going to take my sponge. Solo tiene que usar, eh, coger la esponja que tenéis en casa. Bueno, yo normalmente uso lo que es más, más pointed, <laughs> que tiene así, pico, ¿no? Se llama. Vas difuminando. You have to blend the... the the concealer on your face, difuminar el corrector para que haga el efecto deseado. So you can achieve the, the effect that you wish. If you want to watch some of my videos, I'll, I have some videos that I showed how I contour my face, how do I do my eyebrows, how to shape your eyebrows, how to make your eyes bigger. So you just check somewhere there, the link on the screen. Cuando queremos trabajar con, con, con maquillajes que son cremas, que son cremosos, también se puede trabajar con las manos, con los dedos, porque como es, se calienta el producto, entonces se hace más fácil de, de difuminar el producto en la cara. So it's much easier for us to work with our fingers if you, we want to... So I think it's not that bad. The thing is that the difference is just that um, it's kind of, it dries that fast and you have to work fast. So you just have to blend it, I think, and that's it. You can try to blend those areas that you want to lighten more with your fingers and that's it. But all in all, it's not that bad. No está mal, el corrector. La cosa es que se seca muy rápido y tiene que trabajar rápido también. También se puede trabajar con los dedos, así que puedes extender más el producto en la cara. Entonces, eso es, eso es el único que, que veo que es un poco, hay, sí, un poco más complicado, ¿no? Como ahora es invierno, entonces el producto se seca súper rápido. Pero luego trabajas con los dedos y tal, para mí no están tan mal, ¿vale? So, we're gonna move on with the next product, which is the, I'll use first the bronzer, the 4K bronzer palette. So, this is the 4K bronzer palette, and they have like four colors. Hay cuatro colores, ¿vale? Lo que me interesa usar es este color que está aquí. No hay nombre, ya que este color, que es lo que es, o sea, es más oscuro. The darkest color that, that the palette has. So, you take the number four. Here at the back you see it's like one, two, three, four. So the number four. So I'm gonna take my brush, my blush on brush. Vale, para el, el, el bronceador voy a coger mi, mi brocha de, de, de rubor, vale. Y voy a aplicar en este color que es el número cuatro. Aquí de atrás hay, hay números de colores. Que es uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Entonces el cuatro. Y voy a aplicar poco. Quitamos el exceso siempre, siempre. Remove the excess powder and let's apply it on the area where we want. So 
there you go. I already applied the, the powder contour on my face. No stomach. And then the next product, the next product, which is the highlighter that I have here, as you can see how it gives that that luminous color. I have it, this highlighter and I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try it first on my hand, at the back of my hand and see the difference. So, as you can see, that's the highlighter. This is the color you have also. It doesn't have any number or anything. I mean, you have this like four different colors and you have like, the, it, this is like more like gold and this is like silver, like white. This is like pitch more or less and this is more like the middle of these two uh, vamos a aplicar con la mano mejor La diferencia es lo que veo. What I see the difference is that this highlighter, it's more like a glitter. Not compared with, with Makeup Forever, it's, you, you can see that obviously there's, there's, there's some kind of glitters, but when you apply it on your face, it's like the glitter is more like fine. But this one, I think the glitter is more like obvious. It's like more, you see glitters. You know what I mean? O sea, en este, en este iluminador, Veo que, que está bien, lo que pasa, la diferencia de mi, de mi otro iluminador es que las pupurinas son más finas, no se nota tanto, o sea, cuando pones encima se ve que brilla, pero no se ve las pupurinas. Este sí, cuando toca la luz, es como se ve más las pupurinas que no son tan finas, eso es lo que quiero decir, pero si trabajamos bien, so I'm done more or less, so I'm gonna apply lipstick so that you can see the difference, I don't want to leave my face like this. I didn't apply, I, I, I didn't apply my, my blush on because I want you to see the difference of the contour on my face and the highlighter because I don't want to, to, to apply stuff between them. So just you, you, for you to see the difference of this makeup with the other makeup that I use normally. And for me, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not that that worst makeup that I've ever tried. And um, and it gives the the it gives the look that I want to achieve. The thing is that I commented to you, it's kind of hard. It's kind of difficult to work with the concealer because it dries very fast, and you have to work like very fast also. Um, ese es el look final. No he aplicado ningún rubor, blush on, porque quiero que veáis. La diferencia entre el, el iluminador y, y el bronceador. Cuando trabaja con una marca que es, que es, digamos, low cost, hay diferencia, eso sí, eso sí, hay diferencia, pero tam hay diferencia, pero tampoco está mal porque yo puedo conseguir el look que quería. Voy a acabar mi look, con, voy a poner eh, pinta labios. I'm gonna apply now the lipstick and to give you my final look for today. Pues eso es mi look final. This is my final look. And the makeup, I mean, the Revolution Pro, the real, I mean, for me, it's not that bad. I think, I think a lot, majority of the brands out there, they have like their pros and cons. But the majority of the marcas allí in the en mercado de maquillaje tiene sus, sus ventajas y desventajas que lo que. I mean, there are some people, of course, that with their situation right now, they cannot allow themselves themselves to buy those expensive makeup even they want to. Para la gente que, que de momento o, o en esta situación que no pueden comprar los maquillajes que desean que son caras, las marcas, las marcas que son caras, entonces siempre hay otra opción para la gente que pueden conseguir el look que quieran para, para, para maquillarse y para ponerse guapa, que es muy importante para nosotras. So, 
they give you a lot of options for you to use and try it. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. I mean, si no, si no va bien, si no va bien para mí o para ti, no podemos hacer nada. O sea, es, es lo que hay de probar maquillajes. Entonces, eso es lo que más importante, es saber usar y, sobre todo, la salud de nuestra piel. No da ninguna reacción por, conmigo, de momento no. Lo voy a dejar a ver si me da alguna reacción, pero de momento no me pica nada la piel, no me pica nada, no me da ro rojeces porque mi piel se reacciona también muy rápido con, con, con maquillajes, con productos. Entonces, de momento, estoy bien. De momento, mi piel está bien, no me pica, no me arde nada. Entonces, es, es esto. Y that's it. This is all about my reviews about Revolution Pro. Then, the summary of this is you can buy it, you can try it. It's not a bad product. You can work with it. You can, you can, you can achieve the look that you want also with this palette and I've never used I've never tried the the eyeshadow palette maybe one day I'll try it and um, as you can see I applied already my makeup when I before I started this video because I wanted I want to focus on on this product and with this product and I want to give you a best review that I can and um, that's it Re Revolution Pro not bad at all Revolution Pro no está mal podéis comprar podéis conseguir podéis poner eh, solo, sabéis, solo tenéis que practicar o trabajar con este producto este también, está muy bien si queréis coger uno que es más clarito so that's it for today and it's kind of random video right <laughs> and, 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 and speaking in, in, in English and then whoop, Spanish so podéis entender vais a poder entender lo que quiero explicar en este vlog que es esos maquillajes, sobre esos maquillajes y las tiendas donde he comprado pues en Primor en Primor, que hay muchas tiendas de Primor, estos tres he comprado en Primor, la tienda Primor, que tienen de todo, de todo, de todo, de perfume, de maquillaje, de, de todo, las marcas que no he visto nunca en mi vida, hay ahí también, y pues nada, pues, um, I just like to explain that I, I, I said in Spanish that I bought these products in a Primor, I mean, I don't know if they say it in Primor, in English, but in Primor, and they have like everything you need, I mean, all the products, all the brands that I've never seen in my life, so <laughs> they have it. And I bought this, me cuesta como casi 23 euros los tres, los tres, vale? It cost like, it cost me like almost 23 euros, this three makeup. And it's not bad at all. So I hope you, you enjoyed the video and I hope you've learned something and I hope you will decide if you will buy the product or not or if you will try it or not so if you want also to give this as a gift for christmas also you can do it okay so you can just have like a pack of this and then give it as a gift for a friend or you know our relatives who loves makeup this is a good gift also and si queréis regalar también esos a vuestros amigos si ahora en navidad está muy bien también podéis coger diferentes en modelos o colores, así que hacéis un pack así y como un libro y regaláis esto y está muy guay, muy guay, very cool. Entonces pues ya está, pues eso es mi vlog today, eso es mi vlog para hoy y nada que espero que os que hayáis gustado mi vídeo, cualquier comentario, si tenéis comentarios, sugerencias, request, eh, poner abajo de, de los comment box abajo. Y así que puedo saber lo que pensáis o lo que, parece, lo que os parece de este video. So I'm going to leave all the products that I use in the description below, in the description box below, so just check it out. Voy a dejar todos los productos que he usado en este video abajo. Entonces estará todo allí, los productos y donde he comprado. If you are new um, here on my channel, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll receive new notifications when I upload new videos so um, no olvidéis de suscribir a mi canal vale y darme un like si os gustaba este video y también no olvidéis de dar la campanilla así que podéis recibir notificaciones cuando subo nue uh, nuevos videos de lo que sea y muchísimas gracias and uh, thank you so much for another great day today and i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you again very very soon for my next video and 
course, always. Please stay safe and hugs and kisses to all of you. And I'll see you again very soon.